right, we're back. And I almost forgot that um, fighter sweeps take place during the movement phase. So uh, when I said that I was done, I was actually not correct. So we do have uh, some fighter sweeps to do. Let's take a look at the Allied Air Force and if they truly have the ability to do this. So when you look at these aircraft counters, what you're looking for is a little F symbol up here. Now here's a D520, okay? Uh, I'm going to pause here for historical effect. Now the D520 does have an F up here as well as a bombardment factor here. Um, and I might add quite a huge range, 92. So that's one fighter that can do a fighter sweep. Here's an MS-406. Uh, pause for historical information. Uh, range 83, and here's another MS-406 flying out of this airbase. Uh, ignore the arrow. It, you, the arrow can point toward where the airbase is located, but I just moved here after everyone else left. So they do have the fighters to come down and attempt a fighter sweep, which is a effort to um, clear out the axis. Um, and we also have over here uh, a British Hurricane counter. Um, that can fly out of this air base here at Eris. Uh, so that's 88 hexes. So there's quite a bit of air power that can come in to uh, try to sweep out these Germans that are mostly based uh, down here. So I think that's what we're going to do is do a fighter sweep. So you're actually going to see some uh, uh, fighter combat. So we're going to attempt that here. And, and that, of course, is done during the move phase. Uh, it's one of the only fight, one of the only aircraft things that are done during your own move phase. Uh, they're done during the movement segments, and in these, a fighter is moved to a hex with active enemy units and engages in air combat. Win or lose, the mission fighter is aborted to an airbase within range when the rounds of combat conclude. A hex can be the target of any number of fighter sweeps in the same segment. We're looking on page 34 of OCS Rules version 4.3. There is no reason to have more than one fighter sweep per mission, or per more than one fighter per sweep mission, since multiple sweeps can be flown against the same hex. All right, so we're going to go ahead and perform a fighter sweep, and then I'll explain how that's done. All right, there's a maximum of four aircraft that can do a mission together, and our goal here is to wipe out the patrol zone that the Germans have so that we don't encounter uh, the chance to get intercepted um, so we definitely want to get, there's a lot of Messerschmitts. Oh boy. Okay. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, there's a Dornier, Dornier in that hex. I got to check and make sure that's right. Cause he's got a surge, uh, marker on that. So let me make sure I placed that right. Okay. That was my bad. I actually placed, this is a surge plane. Um, this has different rules for last, or geez, uh, Blitzkrieg legend. I'm getting my Blitzkrieg titles mixed up. So I'm just going to replace it with a proper marker here, which is not a surge marker. You can tell by the white X in the background. Um, you know, very similar to this. So uh, let's get that out of there. Okay, the goal here is to get rid of many, as much of the German fighter coverage as possible. So we're just going to go all in. And this is a tactical bomber. We got fighters here. Okay. Um, so we're just going to go in and get this done. Uh, the T's are tactical bombers and the F's are fighters. Uh, there's two there. Let me get rid of this counter over here. So let's not, let's see how these, uh, French planes do. And we're gonna, you just basically fly over to the hex. It's going to be here and we're going to bring them all. Um, let's see how we do here. And then we're going to do some air combat and I'll show you how that's done. All right, it should be noted that aircraft with the parentheses rating here cannot initiate air combat. So um, these units are not going to participate in this. All right, so we both lay out our airplanes in plain view here after we fly to the mission hex. The attacker selects one of the non parentheses air units. And then the defender selects any of his air units. These are the aircraft used in the current round. Um... I'm going to bring him up first, the D520, and the Defender will bring out the Messerschmitt, and we'll see how that goes from here. All right, you might be thinking, uh, but hey, Hudson, what about Flak? 
Uh, Flacco, you only have to worry about Flack on certain missions. So that's just uh, an important thing to know. So you'll definitely want to read 14.4 uh, on page 34. Uh, the missions subject to Flack are barrage, hip shoot, and train busting. Uh, only if in an enemy patrol zone, air transport, airdrop, and base transfer. Never fight or sweep an interception in all non-mission activities, such as placing air reinforcements and returning to a base. So there's no flak here. Don't worry about that. All right. Um, and then you just kind of want to follow along. We just want to follow along here. Uh, the process on page 33 of the OCS most updated PDF off of their website. So we're going to roll two dice, and we're going to add my air combat rating, okay? And then we're going to subtract the defending air combat rating. So basically, this is going to come out to a null modifier. So it's going to be a straight-up uh, two dice, two die rule, roll, sorry. And then we're going to consult the aircraft combat table. Now, you can roll uh, three dice at once here to determine if there's a loss. The third die would be the lost die, but of course, I'm not going to do that because... Nothing I ever do is uh, a shortcut because I'm still learning and it would just confuse me because my brain is simple. Okay, so the combat, the values I would normally add uh, my air combat value, which is a four and subtract the four. So they just bounce. I'm just going to roll two dice. Um, I'm going to have a little bit of a problem when those MS 406s come up next. Uh, all right, so let's see what we get. We're looking at the air combat table here. And let's see what happens. We get an eight, and that's Defender Aborts. Yeehaw. First round of the Allies, baby. Here we go. All right, let's see if the uh, BF-109E takes a step loss. Uh, planes have two steps. You'll just flip the counter over. Uh, five or six, this occurs. Oh, <laughs> we shoot down a gaggle of Messerschmitts. And they're going to be sent back. So you'll take this counter and you're going to flip it over to that side. And now they become a three. And uh, they abort. All right, we go back over here. And I'm going to put this truck. We're not going to use that wagon really right now. I'm going to put that underneath there. Actually, I need to do this. Uh, for now, I'll leave that air base pointing out. This plane's going to go to inactive and go underneath the airstrip um, to show that it is now aborted like so and we go to the next round so we're going to do that again um see if i can pull this off without let's see if i can do this I, i'm going to do this just to show a difference in the die roll and the modifiers all right it should be noted that when you're fighting over a friendly base you have to you have to abort back to that base okay so here we're going to be adding three but subtracting four again this is live i don't i am not planning any of this all right, 9 plus 3, that's 12. We're going to subtract 4 due to the superior German uh, aircraft technology there. Uh, I think I did that right. Yep, so that leaves 8. And we get Defender Abort still. So that kind of paid off. Uh, I didn't want to risk that other plane. So that paid off. the the. Um, now we need to see if he's going to take a step loss. And I'm going to roll. Man, I'm rolling really well with these dice. A 4, he does not. Now, that means the combat's over. The combat ends when there's no... One side has lost all of their units that can do uh, combat. These guys cannot, so they're just ignored. Uh, which means my fighter sweep was successful, and we have cleared out all of the excess air power in the area. So the Allies on a roll early here. Oops. I think I just effed up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay. Let's um, let's not use this guy. And we'll just do those two. Because I screwed up. Because I just forgot that I need someone to barrage. And I threw all my guys into this. So let's just rewind a little bit. Hudson, you screwed up. We're just going to take that back a notch. And we're going to put him back where he was. Because that was not good. So let's just not do that. We'll put him up there. So that means that uh, these two are going to become inactive and go back to their base. And these, these guys are still kind of sitting there. Um, and then we got to look at the barrage that's coming up. Okay, yeah, because I almost screwed up there. I almost used all my bombers to do that because we still have the hurricane that we want to go in. Um, and uh, one of these guys. So 
in order to properly mark this, we're going to do, we're going to take this out and we're going to put him back. He becomes inactive. Don't flip him over because that's a step loss. And then we are going to, so I used two different planes. I probably should have used the same plane twice. Yeah, I kind of overdid that. Now I see why they say not to do that. All right. We're going to rewind a little bit. Uh, we're going to say that only, man, I really screwed that up. Hey, it's live on camera. You got to see it. We're just going to say one plane went in there. We're going to make him inactive. And we'll just use the same die roll and say he did really well. These guys never went, uh, which is risky, but I rolled really well. So, um, yeah, stick that in your pipe. And then we're going to put these guys back here. All right, so that's just uh, kind of learning there. I forgot about that uh, little fact, so that's my fault. It's been a while since I played OCS. But see, that's the type of thing. That's why I'm really bad at war games, even though I like war games. I'm just not, uh, I don't think. I got to think, you know, that's the thing. All right, so that'll leave uh, at least two of those open, plus the Hurricane to do a barrage mission. That's coming up next, uh, the air barrage. And that leaves those three tactical bombers for the Germans still in there. But I think we took care of business there. You know, we forced uh, an abort on the fighter sweep. We cleared the air. And now the bombers can go in and do their things. There will be some flak. Uh, there is some flak due to the type of mission it'll be. Um, so we've got to look into that. Okay. Uh, I've got some other stuff going on coming toward the end of this week, including my birthday. So I'll see what I can get done. It may not be a lot. We are having some remodeling work done downstairs, and that's going to cramp my play area. So, All right, that is now the complete movement for the Allies, including a fighter sweep. Uh, all right, I've been getting some great comments. Thanks, for everyone, for sharing your stories. People going to uh, different gaming conventions, playing OCS, getting prepped. It's good to see. It's good to see OCS, the cult, is alive and out there. All right, thanks for watching. Thank you.